Good morning, everyone. It is 9.02 on April 10th, Monday, 2023. Thank you guys very much for taking time this morning to be on this wonderful call. And we made it through Holy Week last week, so I hope everyone had a very nice Easter or Passover or Ramadan, whatever uh, you've got going on. We really appreciate um, everyone's patience through last week. Uh, we, we as a as a company, celebrated a very um, um, prestigious milestone. We hit our 10-year anniversary last Friday, so we did take off. So we appreciate uh, everyone's patience uh, throughout last week. I know it was a little bumpy, but here we are. We're ready for a fresh week and, and ready to go. So I appreciate everyone being on the call. Uh, we're going to continue these calls every Monday morning. Unless we have a holiday or something like that, um, but in the case that you can't make it, just remember that we do have these calls being recorded and housed at our YouTube channel. Just go over to YouTube, uh, Health Plan Markets, I think Orlando, and you should be able to find it there. So uh, with that, we got to keep the wheels moving, and in order to do that, keep one foot in the classroom and the other one in the field at all times. So let's check the training calendar for this week. Um, lots of Lots to talk about with training. I'm going to talk about a couple of different things today um, on where you can find training because it is training season. That's right. This is the off season, just like football or baseball. You got off season, and and this is when the stars really go to work, and um, you know they get faster, stronger. As an athlete, you kind of have to think about that in in your career in these cycles too. You know what what are you going to do in the off season? What are you doing in cross training? Right? And um, how, do you, how are you going to make your AEP better? How are you going to make your 2023 better, your 2024 better? And it starts in, in the weight room, right? It starts in training classes. So this is where we're at. Uh, this morning, Aetna is hosting a DSNP training at 930. Check that out if you need uh, to, to brush up on your chops with DSNPs. You manage doing a training at 10 o'clock. The election period playbook is there. Um, this is really good for lock-in because you've really got to know your your election periods. And I will tell you this, guys. Um, the name of the game from now until AEP is find that SEP. Find that SEP. Somebody calls you. Somebody talks to you. Somebody stops at your event table. Find that SEP. Where's the SEP? Find it. And, and uh, if you need help, you know, you'll have a playbook at your disposal here. So that's a good one. Um, United Healthcare is doing their virtual office sessions this week, um, today at four o'clock, and then again on Friday at three, from three to five. You're going to see a lot of that uh, throughout the week as well. Uh, Cigna is doing theirs on tomorrow at nine o'clock. So you've got some office hours there. Nine o'clock again on Wednesday at 1230. So you can jump over to Cigna and, and learn more about that. Um, there is a coffee and chat session for supplements, Medicare supplements, tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Uh, that looks like it's going to be virtual, so you can check that out. That's for United Healthcare. Um, veteran training, always a really great one here. Veteran training, that is for tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, there's a lot of questions surrounding TRICARE, CHAMP VA, VA benefits. Who can enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan? Should I enroll them in a Medicare Advantage plan? Can I enroll them in a Medicare Advantage plan? Uh, lots of questions around there. Um, check that training out. That's tomorrow at 10. Uh, also, tomorrow 11, Cigna's doing sales improvement training. Okay. Need to improve your sales? There it is. Cigna will give you some, some chops there. Um, also, tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Cigna is doing their enrollment period training. So, you know, if you don't get what you need from Humana or you can't make that one, tomorrow at 4 o'clock, the enrollment uh, period training hosted by Cigna will be there as well. Uh, again, really great trainings going on right now. Uh, moving over to Wednesday the 12th, you've got us Thinnerwell doing a lock-in boot camp. And we're going to talk about this. Um, this one's in, in Orlando. Uh, however, we're going to see if we can expand this into other areas. I know some of you are, are out of state or uh, in, in different areas uh, of the country, or if you do have a center well location uh, near you, these boot camps are really great. Um, again, doctors, we're going to talk about that later today. Uh, also, Wednesday, our virtual coffee and sa uh, chat session with Al Clancy, our, our in-house director of training and compliance, is available for a virtual coffee 
Uh, we're going to be setting up, up some physical coffee and chat sessions coming soon, but for now, we've got some virtual ones. That's at 9.30 every Wednesday. You can jump in, talk to Al, any questions you have. Um, if you're just looking to improve your overall, um, you know, health offering, um, how to be a better agent, I mean, just start there, and, and he's a great resource for you. So Wednesday, 9.30. Um, again, on Wednesday, 11 o'clock, Cigna's doing another enrollment period in SEP training. Again, really good there. Moving over to Thursday, Cigna, another sales improvement training at 11. And then Devoted to doing their coffee and chat session, 11.30 on Thursday. So those are the trainings on the week. I just want to highlight, you know, again, as we're going through the week, just pick one training, guys. It's not that hard. Just pick one. Pick the one that interests you the most. Pick the one that's not going to put you to sleep. You know, um, if you're letting a whole week go by and you're not doing trainings at all, shame on you because your clients are going to call you and the answer was in class and you just didn't go. And then now you got to call somebody and that doesn't make, make you really look like an expert, right? So guys, do at least one training a week. That's what I would recommend, okay? Um, speaking of, I did a training on Medicaid redetermination. If you don't know what's going on with Medicaid right now and why you should care, uh, you may have been living under a rock. We've been talking about this for quite a bit of time now. Uh, Medicaid redetermination is firing fast. It is hot. It was on. Uh, it was a topic on America a couple days ago. So this is something that's happening across the country. Um, you as insurance experts need to know this. Okay, this impacts your DSNP membership in the way of they might lose the plan. And that means you lose a client. It's also a really fantastic way to market yourself, become a community resource, and grow your book of business. Growing your book of business means more commissions. More commissions means more income for you, which means more vacations or time off or whatever it is you want to do, travel. Okay, so you got to put some elbow grease in now. You got to learn these topics, and then you got to go out in the community and really put these topics to use. Okay, so I popped the link in there for Medicaid redetermination. If you haven't watched my video, you can double speed it. It's 11 minutes. It's not that bad, and you'll be up to this. Um, the other one I wanted to point out is this kind of goes hand in hand with what do I do with this information? Is turning yourself into a community resource, and we're going to talk deeper about that today. Um, there's another link there talking about how you can use benefitscheckup.org to instantly turn yourself into a community resource center, instantly, and it's free, and it makes you differentiate yourself across every other agent that's out there that's just looking to catch a sale, okay? So, that training, if you double speed it, is 17 minutes. So, you know, these are all really quick, great trainings that you can use uh, in order to get up to speed, okay? Um, Medicaid redetermination is not going away. Um, the state of Florida has already started launching their letters. Um, other states are following suit soon. I think Georgia is going to be launching their letters next month um, if they haven't started already. Uh, and then across the country. So some states got, um, got you know, really a jump start and others are waiting a little bit. Um, but you need to know what's going on with Medicaid in order to help your clients and to help your doctors. If you're working with doctors, we're going to talk a lot about doctors today um, because there's a huge missed opportunity with that. Um, and, and what are you doing for yourself, right? What are you doing for your community? You know, it's this is a really good feel good campaign where you can really start to um, grow your book of business. And I've heard it from agents. Oh, I don't deal with these nips. Oh, I don't have any Medicaid members or I'm not really interested in that demographic. I will tell you, you are missing out. And although the popular belief is, oh, you know, Medicaid members switch often. It's not the case anymore, guys. It's really not. They're, they're some of the most loyal clients. 
Um, I got a call last week from one of my clients I enrolled 15 years ago and it's always been on a decent plan. In fact, she's probably five or six clients, uh, you know, over the course of the time that I've known her and worked with her. So, um, you know, having those relationships are, are, you know, some of the best resources that you can have uh, with your clients. So we'll talk more about that. This is another reason why you want to call your clients. Um, to help them with with Medicaid redetermination. Okay. Okay. Shifting to to doctors here um, because this is also going to impact our our physicians as well. Um, I'm in the Spark platform because I want to just double check a couple of things with you guys to make sure that you guys are are understanding the tools and resources that are in your CRM platform. Um, the first thing is a provider search, and this seems so simple, but when your members are talking to you and you're building out their profile. You know, one of the biggest tools that we have that's really amazing is our provider search inside the platform. So on the left hand side, you're going to click providers. And if you're looking for a specific doctor, you're going to ask for that zip code. And uh, my favorite doctor, Dr. G Gouldu over here, we click him and you can see, you know, it quickly pulls up his information and which addresses that he has on file for his practices. And on the right here, it shows the accepted plan. So this starts your search and your narrow down on what plans that doctor accepts. So if one of your members says, I absolutely have to keep this doctor, then you can come in here and quickly know which plans that doctor accepts, okay? This information is updated at least once a month, but this is run by an entire company that this is all they do. They just check with the doctors, and they check with the health plans to ensure, you know, that the doctors are in network. We realize that the doctors are in network. This isn't 100% accurate because we know that contracts change all the time, especially in the middle of the month. Um, but this is a great snapshot to know, okay, I know that Dr. Gouldu accepts United Healthcare simply, Florida Blue, WellCare. Um, so this gives you a jumping off point on, on you know, what, what plans that particular doctor is taking. Okay, um, now knowing what plans your doctor takes or what plans your doctors are taking uh, is really essential in building that relationship. And um, later this month, I, I will be speaking on um, star ratings. And there's a myth that us as agents don't have any impact on star ratings. What can we do with star ratings? Okay, um, and one of the first things that you can do is connect the member with the provider and ensuring that the member is synced with that provider. Okay, well, how do I do that, Justin? What, what does that even mean? Well, when you do an enrollment, are you packing your bags frantically trying to run out of that house? Because, hey, I got a sale and I hope they don't change their mind. Let me get my car and drive as fast as I can, <laughs> you know? Or are you taking the time to connect that member with the doctor and vice versa? Okay. And here's how that goes. Mrs. Jones, I've got you all set up for, looks like we got you set up for May 1st effective. This plan is going to be coming into effect. You're going to get your card in about 10 business days. And I noticed that we created an, um, or, or we set you up with a new doctor here. Let's take a few minutes and try to set that first appointment for you with that new doctor. Okay, let's do that. When you do that, it shows expertise. It doubles your retention rate. It doubles your retention rate right on the spot. Okay, that call may, might last 10, 15 minutes. So you're gonna do an extra 10 to 15 minutes of work to double your retention rate. Now you just put a new member into that doctor's office. You set their first appointment. Step two, is jump in your car frantically and drive to that doctor's office, which is most likely very close by. Introduce yourself and say, hey, Dr. Jones, I just took, I just put Mrs. Smith in your practice here. I put her on plan XYZ. She's gonna be effective on May 1st. And in fact, I've already set up her, her first appointment. She's coming in on the 10th of May. And I wanted to introduce myself because I specialize in Medicare plans or ACA plans or whatever it is that you're doing. 
And I wanted to see if you were interested in, in growing your practice and if I could put more members here. And I was interested to see how we can work together. And that right there will differentiate yourself from every other agent in the market. 99% of agents are not doing this. 99. Do the thing that the 1% do. If you want to be a one percenter, if you want to up your game, do the things that people aren't willing to do. And this is one of them. And then you've got a tight relationship built. You do that five times. You have five tight doctors that you're working with, and you'll get leads like you can't even believe it. I can tell you personally that Dr. Gouldu, I'm telling you from personal experience here, has given me over 100 clients as referrals. This is just one doctor relationship that I have. Okay, when I was actively selling, I got over 100 leads from that man. And so I'm incredibly in, in, in debt with him, right, <laughs> in that way. So any new member that's looking for a doctor in his area, I'm always like, hey, why don't you check out this guy? You know, he's a good guy. I can talk about him. Um, I know the people in the office, um, and I help set up those appointments. And, and it works in tandem. You're an extension of that doctor's office. You become their sales force. You become their marketer. You become their, their sales agent, really. And the purpose is not to generate leads because what I told you was kind of a fluke that doesn't happen quite often, but it's out there. And it, and it happens when you have the relationship built. It doesn't happen. They're not just going to call you randomly and say, hey, I, I have a, you know, a bunch of people that I need to change their health plan or they need to talk to you about their insurance. It happens gradually, but you've got to build those relationships. Okay. Be aggressive. And when I say that, don't be aggressive as in your personality. Be aggressive with the strategy. You know, set yourself up for success. This is the time to do it. It's lock in. If you're start, if you're trying to do this in September or October when open enrollment is already rolling, forget it. They've already got the relationships. The doctors are already working with the agents they want to work with. You've got about five, well, about four months to really get this in gear and start setting up a strategic plan for working with providers. I will tell you, and Nick's on the phone right now because he can hear me, I can tell you that Nick has more doctors than he knows what to do with. And the problem is, is we don't have agents willing to commit to the relationships. And that's really sad. It's really sad. If you're not working with doctors, you are missing a major part of your business. A major part. If you want to get to 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 sales a month and lock in, this is how you do it. And this is not a pipe dream, guys. I am telling you this from actual experience. I have lived it. My best month, I did over 50 enrollments in July lock in. Why? Doctors absolutely because of doctors, okay? There was no other way that I would have been able to do that many on a record-breaking July. It was Christmas in July. I, I still call it that. <clears throat> you know, these providers can really feed your pipeline if you have the relationship, if you're not out there, if you're not building it, if you're not showing up. If you're walking into the doctor's office and expecting a lead on day one, go home. That's not what that relationship's for. The relationship is your, your vault, your security deposit at the bank. When you put a member in that practice, you better hope that you're the only ones with the combination to get that member out. Okay, you're building a safe. That's the first and major focus on why you wanna work with doctors. If your member calls you and says, hey, I wanna try a new doctor, and you change their doctor and you put them in a doctor you don't know, are you kidding me? <laughs> you don't know if that doctor's working with another agent because there's probably an agent sitting there or, or has a relationship with that doctor and you didn't go and introduce yourself or at least try to say, hey, look, I put a new member here. Will you protect my member for me? When your member changes, that's on you because you didn't build that relationship. It's gotta be a trifecta. You gotta have the doctor help you retain that member. Um, we're hearing this from, from companies like Dedicated, 
where over open enrollment, a lot of a lot of uh, agents are going back through their book of business and realizing that their clients left. Why did they leave? Well, because the doctor approached your member and says, hey, would you like to explore your, your plan options, this open enrollment? Yeah, I would. Fantastic. In our records, it doesn't show that we have an agent of record here. Do you remember your agent? No, I don't. Well, that's okay because we have an agent right here that will be happy to explain those benefits for you. You just lost him a member. Because you didn't go into the doctor. You didn't tell them that that's your member. They didn't have it on file. They don't even know you. And you're putting members all over the place into these doctor's offices. Dangerous. So this is the time of year right now that you need to review your book of business. Find those doctors that you know that you put a lot of business in. We're, we're happy to help you run these reports too. Hey, I need to see my top one, two, and three doctors. If you don't know who that is, we're happy to help you with that, okay? Find those doctors, go introduce yourself, and find out what you can do to help them. One of the first strategies that you can use is, hey, doctor, are you ready for Medicaid redetermination? Huh? <laughs> now you've just become a resource. Hey, this guy really knows what he's talking about. Hey, this gal really knows what she's saying. She told me about Medicaid redetermination. I had no idea who, what is that about? These doctors aren't getting the same information we are, guys. They're left in the dark on the sales side. A lot of them don't even get information about Medicaid. So you now become a resource. Providers are essential for your success, whether you want to admit it or you don't. If you think that you can go through the health insurance business without working with doctors, you are, you are insanely mistaken because your members rely on those doctors. And those doctors have, have extreme influence over your clients. So if, that, if you don't have a good relationship with that doctor and the doctor says, hey, I got a buddy of mine that's an agent, why don't you go talk to him? Who do you think they're going to work with, guys? You want to be that agent or you want to be the agent on the other side, right? I understand that you can't build relationships with every single doctor. I get that. But if you see a pattern in your book of business and you've got 15, 20 members with a, with a specific provider in your neighborhood, <laughs> I really hope that you know that doctor. I really hope that you at least have met that doctor and had a conversation and, and when I say the doctor, I meant the group. It may not be actually the doctor. Like Centerwell, the doctors are employees, right? But you should know somebody at Centerwell that's protecting your membership. Okay, this is just using Centerwell as an example here. Um, doctor marketing is essential. If you are like, ah, I don't really want to work with doctors, or I'm afraid to work with doctors, or doctors intimidate me, or you know, it's not part of my strategy. I don't need them. You are wrong. You are wrong because these doctors have your clients' information. You don't think they're going to invite these members over? You don't think that there's an agent working tightly with those doctors? If you don't do it, another agent is. Okay. I hope I've scared some logic into your brains. <laughs> um, it's not my intention to scare you, but it's my intention for you to take radical action for success. All right. I need every one of you working with doctors because that is truthfully how you're going to be successful. If you're on this call this morning, you've got 28 people on this call this morning. I am very happy that you are here to listen to this now and not on the YouTube later on down the road. Your strategy has to be working with doctors. I don't care if it's not part of your, your, oh, that's not what I, I don't care because whether you like it or you don't, you work with doctors. Your members on the application require a primary care doctor, don't they? You can't fill out the application without it. And I don't care if you're doing supplements either. That doctor that, that your supplement members are going to have the same influence and if you don't think that they're going to be convinced to move to a Medicare Advantage plan or another supplement, you're mistaken as well. Oh, they're on a supplement. I don't have to worry about those folks. <clears throat> the fastest growing segment of health insurance is Medicare Advantage plan. 
Florida is peaking over 70% of Medicare eligibles on Medicare Advantage plan and closing. It's not supplements, guys. Supplements aren't growing. Sure, there's a, a time and place for folks that have supplements. I get that. But if you're working in this space in Medicare, Medicare Advantage is, is exploding. So please take advantage of that. Um, really quickly on strategy, I want to show you some other things here. On your platform in Spark, on the home page, there's a very key point here. Even working with doctors, that can't be your only strategy. You have to get out there uh, in, in, the, in the community, okay? So on the bottom right corner there under business tools, I want to share something with you called prospect maps. So you're equipped, we've talked about um, benefits checkup. So you're equipped with a tool to go out and help people apply for extra help, right? So you have the tool, you have the resources, you can help people reapply for Medicaid, you can help people apply for Medicaid, food stamps, cash assistance, veteran programs, transportation, food, medications, housing, you name it, you've got it. You are now a community resource. Congratulations. I am now making you a community resource. There it is, you're, you're done. All you need to do is remember this website, benefitscheckup.org, become a master at it. I repeat, become a master at this website because now you have something other agents don't. You have a resource to help people and you can go into places that agents can't get into because they can smell a sales agent from a mile away. You're no longer in sales. You're a community resource. You're a community liaison to help people, okay? So where do I go? All right, Justin, this is great information, but where do I go? Well, let's say, let's scroll on down. We've got all these different places we can go here. Let's say you're in Florida and you're in Duval County. That's, that's up in the Jacksonville market. I'm gonna click on Duval County here. And by the way, if you don't see a map in your area, just shoot an email over to us at support at askhpm.com and we'll get it over to the Spark team uh, so they, they can go ahead and, and uh, you know, load in your area. Um, probably need a few days for that to happen. But just to give you an example, Duval County, I've got all the food banks, doctor's offices, primary care, pharmacies, uh, nursing homes, senior facilities, chambers of commerce, libraries, churches, rehab centers, and veteran organizations in the map right there. I know exactly where to go now. And I'm going into these places not to talk about health insurance or Medicare Advantage or Me Medicare supplements or any of that nonsense. I'm here to help people that need extra help. Here's my card. You call me, I'll come here and I'll set up a table on a good day when you're gonna have people coming through here and I'll be able to help people apply for extra help. It's a free service, guys. You shouldn't get paid for everything you do, right? <laughs> Uh, it's a free service, but this is how you generate massive amount of leads. You want leads? You want, um, you know, a, a, a pipeline filled of people calling you, searching you out, driving to wherever you are in the world? This is how you do it, right here. Okay, so you can narrow this down. You can take out, you know, veteran orga organizations if you're just looking for, you know, certain places. Let's say you're just looking for pharmacies in the area. Uh, just here in Duval, it looks like pharmacies. There we go. Got a whole list of the pharmacies just in, in, in that area. I can click it. It takes me to the address, and I even got the phone number there so I can call if I wanted to call ahead. Uh, that's Premier Pharmacy. That's a mom and pop. So that's probably a good place to start. You know, I wouldn't try Walgreens, CVS, that kind of thing. Um, so, so, you know, that's that's uh, that's something that I really do hope that um, that you guys take advantage of here. Okay, so that's again just really quickly. I want to um, mark that from your homepage, bottom right corner under business tools. You're going to click prospect maps, and that'll open up this map here. You'll click that, and then you can pick which map you have. Again, if you don't have uh, a map in in there, just shoot us an email, support at askhpm.com, and we're happy to help you with that. Okay, go in as a community resource. Again, this is another way that you can get in and build relationships with your doctors and say, hey doc, how about, would it be okay if I set up a table out here? Ah, no, I don't let any Medicare agent set up a table here. That's, that's wrong, we don't do that because I don't want my business flipped. That's what you hear, right? Hey doc, would it be okay if I set up a table here? 
so I can help people apply for Medicaid, food stamps, cash assistance, veteran uh, programs, housing, food. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you can sit right there. You can sit here every day if you want. Don't be a sales agent, guys. You want to help people. That's why you got in this business, I hope. You know, if you're here for the commissions, you're not going to last very long. Get out there and help people. Launch this on your Facebook page. Launch this on your Instagram if you're doing social media. If you've got a list of your clients' emails, launch this to their emails. Get on the phone. Have you called your members? Have you seriously sat down and called your members since you enrolled them? If you haven't even talked to your members, shame on you guys. They're paying your bills. You're getting a commission check every month to take care of your members. Do you think that the health insurance carrier gives you that per member renewal every month because you're a nice person? No. That is your customer service payment to ensure that you're taking care of each and every one of those members. Okay? All right. Let me get off my soapbox. I'm fired up this morning because I think that there's a lot of opportunity out there. I hope it's fired you up too. Um, Mark, I'm sorry if you missed it. I did mention Passover because I know that it was a, a religious week last week. So uh, thank you for your for your chat reminder. But yes, I hope everyone had a safe Easter, Passover, and Ramadan last week. I know uh, some of those celebrations are still going on. So um, really appreciate everyone being on the call this morning. So with that, Get out there, guys. Go meet your doctors. If you seriously don't know where to start, I get it. Don't worry about it. Shoot us an email at support at askhpm.com. If you know how to get a hold of Nick Street for the providers, he is begging for agents to work with the providers. Uh, we have doctors that are literally throwing offices at us. Like, look, please help us grow these offices. Can you give us an agent to work with? And I don't know. It sounds like a match made in heaven to me. So. All right, guys, with that, I hope everyone has a fantastic week. Please make sure that you go out to the YouTube channel, subscribe there uh, to ensure that, you know, you're not missing any one of these calls in case you can't be here on a Monday morning. I get it. Um, but I do want to ensure that you're getting the information and, and getting out there. So thank you all for being on the call. Have a fantastic and successful week. Take care.